about how it was a great representation of how our Father loved us through all our mess. Mm. Through all the things that we have done, God still loved us. Just as the Father in the story today, no matter what he did, he still was right there for us. Saying, come on home. You can always come home. No matter how bad you've done, you should always be able to go home. As I share with many men today uh, on Father's Day, the family is not complete without the Father. Amen. It may survive without him, but it will not thrive without him. No, all right. yeah. Every family needs their fathers, and we need fathers to go back and go back to the family. Because if God has made us the head, mm -hmm. no matter how big the neck get, <laughs> the head ain't going nowhere. The home ain't going nowhere unless the head is directed it. God has already established the order already. Yeah. And today, I, as we close out, I just want to pray for the fathers all over this nation. Amen. Because I believe, even as a man, we are responsible for a lot that goes on in the world today. Amen. We need to be repositioned back to where we are the heads of our homes Amen. so that we may show our young men that what the world has to offer won't gain you anything. But with God, all things are possible. That's right. We have to teach them and show them the way back. So as you rise to your feet right now, I'm going to ask all of you that are here to come up to this altar. I just want you to come across the front. Hallelujah. Step up. Come on across. Come on. Just step up to the front. All the way across. Just make it to Just line up across here. Hallelujah. As you're coming to the front, I want you to think of your father. Think of your father. I want you to anoint each hand as you go down. But as she comes to you, I want you to remember your father. No matter where he's at, what he's done, hallelujah. It's still not a home unless the father's there. Anoint each hand, hallelujah. Think of your father and where he's brought you through and what he's done. Even though it may not have been right, where is he now? What has he done for you? He helped to bring you into this world. Though he may be running from responsibilities, he may not even know how to be a father. He may have never had the examples of how to be a loving father. But as you're standing here today, I want you to just say a small prayer for your father. Say, Lord, help my father. Yes. Lord, God, my Father. Lord, put somebody on his path. Bring him back home. Help him to be the man, oh God. Help him to be the Father, oh God. In the name of Jesus that you called him to be. God, here I am petitioning you for my Father, oh God. That you may begin to work in his life, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Let the world take its hold off him, God. And you put a hand on him, God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Put him back in the position, oh God. To lead and to guide, oh God. Not just his children, but children all around him, oh God. To be an example in the name of Jesus. Now use your own words right now and just speak to God about your father. Come on, say something about him. Hallelujah. To you, the Lord is Savior of the world. Hallelujah. He may not have done all right. He may not even know. Hallelujah. But say, God, bless him. God, open up doors for him. Come on.
more. Remember him today. We're all trying to get back to where we need to be. Hallelujah. So as we remember our Heavenly Father, who can take care of all of us, including our Father, we just want to give him all the praise, honor, and glory today for who he is. Our living God. Our Father. Remember him today. Just take a moment, hallelujah, to remember your Father.